G'day everyone. So I've been coding for over six years now and the majority of that has been in Unity. I've dabbled with other languages and engines during this time and some were definitely easier than others, but I've always returned to my true love, Unity and C Sharp. But with all of the hype around C++ in the gaming world, I've always been curious to learn it properly. How does it compare to C Sharp? Is the grass really greener on the other side? Well, I wanted to find out and that I did. I heard a lot of good things about SDL2, so I decided that was a good starting point. No engines, no pre-made tools, we're going in raw. Just the pure, unadulterated power of C++ and my dwindling hopes and dreams. I found a great tutorial series by Let's Make Games and decided to copy, I mean, follow, his entire series. And by the end, I had this, which is... something. So now that I'm a C++ expert, I needed an idea. Something original, something unique, inspiring, something never done before. Haha, <laughs> yeah right. Heavily inspired by Polymars' video on making his game 20 Golf, I decided making my own golf game would be a good starting point. It's a small, concise idea that would let me touch on a bunch of different areas, and due to its scale, I should be able to put some really good polish on it. With a few simple sprites I whipped up, it was time to get started. While the original engine I made from the tutorial was really good, I wasn't going to need all of it. Some aspects transferred really well like the window generation and management and the texture loaded to save some memory. Everything else, I stripped out. With that out of the way, it was time for my own code. Let's start off with a simple grid pattern for our background. Now add a ball. Give it some movement. Boom! Physics done. Isaac Newton who? Get that sh** out of here. Now, inspired by everyone's favourite Oompa Loompa from across the Pacific, it's time to build a wall. Or four. Ah, perfect. Well, that didn't go as planned. Time for some big brain mathematics. Basically, we want the ball to ricochet off anything it's collide with. So, if circle touches square, bounce. Seems simple enough? Let's build it. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> <sighs> okay. That was far more complicated than I expected, but I got it working. I put a number of points around the ball and then check if any of them overlap with the side of a wall and then invert the ball's movement. I mean, it's a little buggy, but let's not worry about that. Wait, why is it slowing down? Where are you going? Oh, f you too. Bad memory allocation. What the f? Alright, we're back. It seems I already broke my one rule of keeping things simple. Despite my several attempts to get circle collision working by selling my soul to ChatGPT, it just didn't want to work for me. So I'm going with the most basic form of collision detection, AA, BB, or axis aligned bounding boxes. I wanted to avoid this method because it checks if two squares overlap, and a golf ball is a circle. But sacrifices must be made. So now I check the position of the ball in the next frame, and if it overlaps I invert that axis velocity. I've got it working pretty well, and even if it's not perfect and only held together by duct tape and sheer will, I'm not touching that again. I'm a little behind where I want it to be, but that's okay, we'll make it work. I now needed a way to actually end a level, so I made this sad excuse for a golf hole and slapped it in. And since collision is already working, I just added a simple check to see if the ball overlaps the hole, and voila! After that, I moved on to loading pre-made maps and making a second level. Luckily I had a bunch of experience working on this style of level loading from my various other projects and it was pretty simple to convert it to C++. As for level loading, it was thankfully pretty simple. All I had to do was yeet away all the old entities I made and slap on some new ones. Currently it just force loads the second level, but I'll be updating that in the next video to dynamically load levels instead. Ideally I would have been a bit further ahead, but learning a new language is hard and all of the confusion with pointers and references and memory handling is all very new to me but I've put a good dent in my wishlist and I'm keen to level up my C++ skills even more. I just wish I didn't need to rely on box collisions for my golf ball. <gasps> <laughs> Th 
thanks so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for some wacky additions I can add to the game, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to check out some of my other videos too, and make some pretty crazy stuff. That's everything for now, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers everyone.